In tonight's Education Watch 10, students across the Wabash Valley are returning to the classroom and your child may walk to school. So just how safe is the path they take? One local town has noticed the dangers. They're doing something about it. News 10's Lindsay Yates has more on a new project that aims to revamp the most traveled routes. As a parent, you often worry if your child will make it to and from school safely. And for years, these sidewalks, or the lack thereof, have made for a dangerous commute. Well, a lot of the sidewalks are uneven. You know, when it's snowy or the leaves have piled up, sometimes kids or other people don't see that. We caught up with mom of four, Holly Hannum, as a morning crossing guard for this busy intersection. She also wants to protect her extended family. I wanted to make sure that other kids that are walking to Central get to cross safely as well. And now the city of Clinton has been given the green light to begin construction. The work in partnership with the Department of Transportation is part of a $300,000 Safe Routes to School project. You can see it's really, really been damaged through the years and it, it'll be a totally remake of this area. This is a map of the five major walkways surrounding Central Elementary School. The plan includes upgrades such as handicap accessibility to the heavily traveled sidewalks and crosswalks. At least the parents will feel safe that their kids won't be falling over the sidewalk and tripping. And getting rid of the bumps that cause bruises is a long awaited change for Hannah and those she cares about most. I just think it'll, it'll make the city look nicer and then it'll make it safer for our kids. In Clinton with photojournalist Tony Cassasia, Lindsay Yates, News 10. The majority of construction is expected to wrap up by Labor Day weekend. We will continue to keep you updated on the status of the project.